So here I'm gonna cover the AT, our ATR6 valve and our M32, our modulator valves. So this truck is set up to have electronic stability control and ABS. So the ATR6 is in the R12, R14 family of valves. The biggest difference is that on our cover, we have a solenoid, which is gonna allow the ECU to actuate the relay valve in case of a uh, potential rollover or traction control event. So this valve works exactly like the normal, in its normal state, it will act just as the any other of the relay valves works. It will get signal air from the treadle when you press on your brake through the top of the <clears throat> through the top of the valve. You have air straight from your supply tanks to that is plumbed in this particular example through the treadle. It may not be that way. It may be plumbed directly to the valve depending on the application. But in this particular application, it's plumbed through the treadle. So we have tank air or system supply air from the treadle also into, into the bottom of the ATR6 valve. So once we get signal air, it's gonna allow that air to not be held off anymore and then it's gonna pass through our modulator valve. So our modulator valve is a normally passing exhaust normally closed valve. So we shouldn't hear any sort of brake hissing when we step on the brakes. Any brake hissing through this valve will indicate that it's starting to have some problems. You would have to go through the Bendix sheet to see exactly um, how much air is allowed to leak out of this system. I mean, out of this valve before it's considered bad. There is a test for it, but I normally tell students that, you know, if the valve is leaking any significant amount of air, you probably just want to go ahead and replace it rather than waste your time doing some tests on it because more than likely the valve is only going to get worse, not better over time. And especially because as mechanics, we tend to only see uh, vehicles every few months or when they have problems. So if we catch something like this on the service, on a brake inspection, we're probably gonna wanna go ahead and change that valve now or recommend to the customer that we change the valve now rather than change the valve later. <clears throat> so also we see a solenoid, that we see a solenoid operation on this uh, modulator valve. In this case, it's the Bendix M32 valve. And again, it is a normally passing, normally closed valve uh, that's going to allow air to pass through and actuate our service brake can. The only way that this valve comes alive is if we're either doing a chuff test when the vehicle is first starting or through an ABS event or a traction control event, right? So if the, if the ECU determines that we need to de deploy a traction control strategy or an anti-rollover strategy, that's when you'll see these uh, this M32 valve become active and this ATR6 valve also become active at the solenoid. Other than that, it should remain um, in a unpowered, no, I shouldn't say unpowered on the cable, but it should remain unactuated. The solenoid should remain unactuated uh, until you have such an event. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about uh, either one of these valves, whether it be the M32 or the ATR6 valve, please leave them below. I will try to attach the Bendix data sheets for both the M32 and the ATR6 valve um, in the description below. All right, hope this helps. Have a good one. Bye.